be solid numbers. Hopefully that will be the case. Okay. Well, thank you for giving us direction to try to work on a couple of different types of options. Sort of updated the board. I can't say how much I'm proud to be a superintendent with outstanding administrator, staff, students, community. Uh, our working force is tired. They're meeting everything head on. And I, I want to thank the board for being steadfast and trying to make sure we have what we need to move forward in this unprecedented setting time. I mean, uh, for all of us, I'm going to keep it very short. We're living by the seat of our pants and we're trying to make sure that we do the right thing for everybody. And I want to thank the board with the resolutions tonight as well uh, and for your ability to get together in these difficult times. Our students are our most important gift that we give to the futures. We want to make sure that that continues budget, whatever, we just want to make sure we keep the community safe and healthy and strong as we can. So thank you for everything, my administrative team, and everybody that put something in, and we'll step past it, but again, going forward over the next several weeks and even months and years. Uh, capital project we are we are working on. Uh, it depends on the supply chain. We're trying to keep people still employed and moving forward without a shutdown. But there may come a time where we have to sort of reduce. I know they are working at reducing workforces to 50 percent, 25 percent. They have been doing that as well. So as much as we can, we're just trying to make sure that we give people options. Some schools have absolutely shut. Them. Uh, and shut down that as long as they are safe and they know they're safe and they aren't interfering in us, we want them to be able to make their choice for their business. So we will move on to the rest of the report. Uh, I would be remiss. I think we wish us all a happy music in our schools month. Um, as part of the Twin Tiers Community Orchestra before things down to where we are, uh, we had the opportunity to join the Elmire Heights uh, Middle School in their annual Music at Our Schools Month celebration. And there were several uh, Horsehead students in the orchestra with me, which I appreciate. Um, I know there's a lot of opportunities on social media um, where students are sharing their vocal and musical talents around the nation. So, um, uh, Purdue, their uh, communications person for band and orchestra has encouraged their students kind of as a rallying cry sense of community to share what they're doing musically uh, with each other to maintain that sense of community. So maybe we have the opportunity, I know Mr. Smith has sent out his uh, kind of curriculum, so maybe uh, we also musically have a chance to maintain our sense of community as a district and share with one another the great talents that we have. Uh, on to 702, the Okay. Um, so we met last week. Uh, we had uh, Julie Hepworth there to do the 2019-2020 risk assessment. Um, there were several moderate risk items that were found. Um, all of them were really doing a deep dive. So, you know, we look at the overall report. Um, it was a very thorough audit, and none of the findings were, were things that we, we can't and so Katie has already put in place the um, risk assessment um, current action plan, and many of those findings have already been taken care of. So um, overall, it was a really good audit. And the other thing that um, uh, Katie is working on is the new RFP for our uh, external monitor of the UW school. And that will be the new one. So. Okay. 7.03. Policy Committee met on March 10th. Um, we reviewed two <laughs> policies, three of which are uh, up tonight for a first reading with uh, some changes. Uh, we also reviewed policy 9270.1 on substitutes. We wanted to get the board's um, take on qualifications for substitute teachers. However, I personally want to hear from both of our 
former teachers on the board, and only one of them is here tonight, so I would suggest that we postpone that discussion until we can pretty much have a full board here. Um, and uh, we have second readings that we'll be approving tonight, uh, also on the docket. And lastly, we, um, because of everything that's going on, we reviewed uh, policy 8130, emergency plans, just to make sure that we were up to date with what's going on in the world. Any comments or questions for the Okay, on to item 8, finance items. We have 802 through 818. Um, 8.14 for the Medicare Advantage agreement is not attached. Um, it would have been to um, have that up for the board to do tonight, not the presentation tonight, but given the, the recent developments of the environment and, and the timeline that we have laid out, um, we have to go back to Medicare Advantage and expand our time frame on So the contract is not. So we have 802 <laughs> through 813 and then 815 through 818. So moved. Second. Questions, comments? Um, as opposed to this employee, I'm going to abstain on uh, 8.07 and 8.09 as they involve budget. Anyone else? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed nay? Any abstentions? Oh, you're seeing that just 8.07 and 8.09 because the resolution for the buses must have two thirds of it. Resolutions every day, so voting that I have to that is going to be for the resolution. So I can vote on the bus. I think I'd be happy to do that. I think I'd be voting on that way. But please forgive me, I thought you said you were abstaining only on 8, 7, and 8, 9. I mean, the way I, I see it, I'm telling you I'm not. I have to abstain on the whole package because I cannot vote on eight. That's why I did not digitalize. So that we can do that. I, I but we can we can pull it out. It's just that just like on the H it will you know how we do the HR where somebody identifies the section and that they're not voting no on the whole section. They are only voting no on that one particular item. We've done that. So I don't have a problem rewording it, I just gotta make sure that Otherwise, I cannot put that up for both. Okay. I mean, I've always understood that as a, as a blanket motion for the whole section. I would. So, what would you like to do? The way we've done it in previous meetings, though, if you look back at the minutes, it is just for those individual members that I showed that there's yeah. another yeah. name for them. Right, it's not voting. Yeah, down. she's always she's, I mean yeah. she's always taking you out of the ones that you had to contact. So what what's in the minutes versus the way it's presented verbally at the meeting, in my mind are two different things. So that's all I would say on that. But if you want to count as a guest vote on the on the bus measure, that's I can live with that. That is my intention. Then we would continue the way that we have. We exclude you on your abstain. And we would always know that first and foremost, everything else you have the ability to vote on, we would assume unless you say no, you were that yes vote, but no. Correct. I just want to be clear for the minute. If you want to record the minutes that way, that's fine. Then we have a six old vote. That's the only one that matters, so that's good. Okay, so we're good. On to item 9. 9.14 is 
9.02 HR recommendations for your approval? So moved. Second. Any questions, comments? Apologize if you move too long. Okay. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed nays? Any exceptions? Okay, on to item 10, miscellaneous items. We have 1002, this is 1005. So moved. Second. All of these only require five votes as there is a nomination for a board member for the posting board, of which the board has had uh, <coughs> someone to consider, Ms. Tam Stroll, for the posting board. Questions, comments, 1002, and 1005. As those who employ cannot, uh, cannot vote on it. Nomination for one member, sorry. <clears throat> An individual can nominate and vote. So 1002 through 1005, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed nay? Any additional exceptions? Okay. On to item 11. Have in front of us 1101 through 1103 for approval. So moved. Second. Questions, comments? None. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed nay? Any exceptions? In front of us, we have 1201 through 1203 for first reading. Any questions, comments, for the committee? <coughs> All right. On to item 13. Board member comments. I'd just like to thank on behalf of the board, the complete district administrative team, all of the instructors, our technology team for um, getting us to where we are. And also my fellow members of the board for convening over the weekend um, to be um, brought into the light on the situation and um, offer um, the input that was needed at that time to move the district forward. So it's Unprecedented times. I don't know that I've ever used that word as much as I have in the last few days, uh, nor read it. Um, but I really want to convey on behalf of the board our sincere appreciation um, and for our students as well for their flexibility and uh, understanding our families, our community, and just the full sense of community that um, I think we are all a part of to make sure that everyone in the community, our school community, our local community, etc., are safe and healthy and getting what they need uh, and moving forward as fast as we all can. So thank you to everyone for all that. One of the one of the questions Pam that you posed to me and also to us in this time about the consideration of our next meeting, remote learning, remote meeting. I don't know that answer, but yep. I might be able to shed some light as well. So my question was is that as we are uh, officially kind of closed and our facilities are closing, if you will. Um, other districts have explored technology to have um, online or virtual board meetings. And so my question was, as we get into that situation or as our situation um, becomes more severe, is there an opportunity for us to have um, board meetings virtually where we're not physically in the same location? Literally, I have not had a chance to call James, but I don't know if that's the possibility and now they because we're in that time, <laughs> um, you know, one here or there, there's a process. I just don't know how they're doing whole boards. I know like even in Albany they're having trouble because if they're only allowing so many people in the chamber at the same time, and that's against the rules, but they're figuring it out. So what we will try is if anybody doesn't have an objection, we will ask legal counsel if we can do it. We would have to work it through your laptops with uh, the board docs. And because you're the only ones that can log in, we could 
potentially do to make it easy a full total consent agenda on the whole item and one vote at your computer. But I'm just thinking of the nightmare of trying to do it while you're away so that you understand we run it from here, but you vote on your computer, but we can see you vote, and it logs right into the website. Uh, that way, you are the only one that can be voting. Uh, but I just don't know the practicality and legality of it. If uh, we have the full board uh, at the next meeting, we may move to a gymnasium or some place so that we have wider set. Uh, just because I hate to drag you out, but if you're ill, please don't come, and we'll try to remote you in. I had a request for tonight. I just could not get it up at least 72 hours before to at least give the public, so I did not want to try that, even though in light of the times, I think nobody would have ch challenged us, but because of the resolution, I just did not want to take that risk. <laughs> In addition, we have comments with the spot out of the district and staff and everybody on behalf of the, the current situation. I'd just like to thank Pam for uh, volunteering help on the process for us. Hopefully, she's not made a great work on herself. Thank you, Pam. Uh, how does CM technology challenge? How do you uh, video record a virtual meeting? Is, was it that? It, I know they have all the hours we can do it because it's being recorded. <laughs> and I know Sally, Sally can uh, assist. Uh, the Zoom, we're talking about a Zoom meeting, and um, one person hosts it, and that one person sees all cameras and can record from their computer the action of all members that are part of that room. Okay. Oh, that room. We we would would so probably, there's a way. That's yes. all I. <laughs> we would probably do the video up against the board, do the Zoom meeting on the board. So that everybody could see you, you'd be working off your computers. I'll help you, Warren, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way, right? Just make sure if you're in the comfort of your home. <laughs> we'll put a man out of the mood, nothing's impossible. <laughs> and we put women in space also, not to sound. <laughs> Just quickly, I, I wanted to, uh, it feels like ages ago now, but uh, had the opportunity with my family to, to go to the Hunchback of Notre Dame and uh, see that show, and I just commend the Green Room, Green Room players and everyone who was involved in that. It was a fantastic show. Uh, and um, <coughs> wish I could press a button and we could be back there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and to that end, I just echo everything that the board president said. Couldn't say it any better. As a parent, as a resident, as a member of the board, I've just been struck at the way you know all of the staff and, and, and you you know you have your own families to worry about, but you know you were here over the weekend taking care of our students, and, and I have such deep, deep appreciation for that. So thank you very much. Anyone else? All right, then I will uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Everyone stay safe and healthy and take care of yourselves and your people.